Hi, welcome to RoboJack. In this video, I'm going to introduce the solid state relay uh, to control AC load or DC load like this. So let's get started. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnected it will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. So this is the relay. We have three pins here. The DC plus, DC minus, and then the they put a channel. So this is the input of the signal that controls it. So this goes to five volt positive. This goes to the negative or the ground. So you can connect it using this screw and put your wire here and tighten it again. And then here we have an LED here. This LED will turn on when the signal is received, which means because this is low trigger, meaning that the input should be low or zero towards zero volt in order to uh, turn this on. And whether it is high, then the uh, relay will be off. So the load is connected here or this is a switch so you can connect the two wires that I showed you for the bulb so it, or the load or a heater whatever you have the two will be connected here and then just connect you don't have anything at the bottom here as simple as that then the the actual the um, solid state relay that is used is G3MB that is 202P so this two is referring to the two ampere this is this is able to uh, control a two ampere load which means two ampere times 120 volts is uh, 240 watt so in in the regions that we have 220 volts or higher so just multiply it by two you will get the power this is made by Omron so let me show you the data sheet for this one so this is a data sheet that is the image so it says it can control 2 ampere load and here this G3MB202P this is the model that, that is shown here so these can be 5 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts the one that I showed you is uh, 5 volts so there are other uh, characteristics for this one if you need it, you can look at the, this uh, data sheet, which I'm going to provide it with the code at the same page. So let's measure this. The length of this module is 34.2 millimeter. The width is 24.9, which should be 25, and the depth including the pen that we have is 23.9 so which is 24 millimeter so these are the two wires from the AC bulb or load that is connected on this side so and here from this side we have three pens this is a positive it goes to 5 volts this is a negative it goes to the ground and this is the input where it receives the signal this is a low trigger it means this input must get low in order to switch this on meaning this when it is zero the relay is on when it is one the relay is off now from here i have connected the positive the to five volts here to five volts and that's the ground and then the trigger or signal is connected to pin eight of arduino the code for this solid state relay will be available at, um, by clicking at the link at the description or you can go directly to robojacks.com slash learn slash Arduino. 
where you can download also the data sheet and you will see a lot of other codes that you would like to have a look. Let me explain the code now. So we are, we are setting the, a pin for relay. So in this case, we put eight, so you can put any pin between two to 13 on a digital pins. So then we use this variable as if we type eight everywhere we need it. Then this is a setup from here to here, which runs only once. This is setting up the serial monitor, which will you see it here. And then this is a print. This is just print the text for us. And then we are setting relay pin, which is eight as the output. After that, this is the loop, which runs continuously. And then, so in order to turn on this relay, now you can see this is on. So every time this is on, actually, we are setting relay pin, which is 8, to low. And we are printing this text on the monitor, which I'm going to show you next. And then here, we, si we wait for 2 seconds. As you can see here, this is turning on for 2 seconds and turning off for 2 seconds. And then it goes, after waiting for 2 seconds, it turns the relay off, which means set, set the pin 8. This yellow orange will be a, a high and then we print also this text and wait two seconds and then it comes back and the loop continues. So now the code is being uploaded. So now pay attention here on when it when, when the light is on, also we have the text on. When it's off, the text is off. I've disconnected the bulb, so now I'm connecting the bulb so you can see the actual AC bulb being turned on and off. Because it was... So as you can see, there is no click of the contacts, there is no sound, nothing. So let me disconnect the AC. Okay, so when you control the the pen on, you can do the control based on some condition. For example, if a switch is pressed or the temperature changes or some other uh, value or quantity changes, so you can say F and then put your condition here, F something changes, put the opening parenthesis and then closing parenthesis. So this will turn on only if this condition is true. So something is true or something is bigger than something. So you can put a value uh, will, and we'll do that. So next I'm going to use this solid state relay in another example, a separate video. So you will see another practical application, but this is general introduction. So this was the introduction to G3MB solid state relay. Thank you for watching. Please Thumb up the video, please share it and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.